behavior taken by the mayor in exchange for any, I guess, favors that were done by the Turkish government. Sure. Uh, to your point, once again, it's to the burden of the government to actually prove that he is guilty. Uh, but in essence, this is what they're stating. It's you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And to your point, you also stated that this is a hit job. Why would the government be going after the mayor? There are certain political reasons why the federal government would be going to would be going after a state government official. And if you recall correctly, the mayor was visiting the Biden administration six months ago, seven months ago, um, and all throughout last year with respect to the issues with the migrant bodies coming to the state from Texas and all of a sudden borders. There were some discussions between Biden and the mayor with regards to certain subsidies that were supposed to be given to the, the to New York State and New York City in exchange for what would was amounting to a migrant crisis. And I believe as a breakdown of those negotiations, of course, I don't have any personal knowledge, but it's my speculation that any reason uh, to indict and make a laughing stock of the mayor right now uh, would be in response to the higher ups, the federal authorities that found it unlikely that there be any uh, negotiations or good faith negotiations between the federal government and the state. Specifically, I think the mayor rubbed uh, either Biden himself the wrong way or the Biden administration uh, the wrong way. And if you don't play with the left, uh, you get into trouble. And that is the result of such actions that were taken by the federal government, in my opinion. Well, we do know that several elected officials, including several con congressional members, are now calling for him to step down. The mayor has stated that he does not plan to do so. We do know that the governor of New York has the power to remove him as well. How do you see this playing out? Well, there are, there are certain specific issues at play when the governor is attempting to dismantle the statesmanship or the cityship of the mayor. And I don't think the mayor is going to just set aside uh, himself for the good of the government that is after him. I think he has the people that are getting his back and they will support him and not support those that are taking him down. But that's the political process. The actual process, the legal process that will take place uh, is going to be much more nuanced. And it's going to be much more nuanced, and there are going to be discussions, and I'm sure there are discussions now with Governor Holhill and her administration and uh, Mayor Eric Adams and his administration about what to take uh, effect in the coming days, not the coming weeks, because this one has to be resolved right away. And I think the mayor has a real uh, stake in this, I guess, uh, in his reelection and his legacy in telling Governor Hohill that there is no evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he is guilty of these alleged crimes and that he will not be stepping down uh, subject to, if she forces him to do so, he'll probably go to the Court of Appeals in New York to make his claim about why he should not be stepping down. I don't think there's a claim right now that he should. There isn't enough evidence that he should be stepping down. All right. Obviously, we will see this play out right before our very eyes. Mr. Leo Jacobs joining us right here on the live zone. I